Hey man, check this. I haven't done an album review in like three years, but today, however, I thought I'd make an exception. If this type of niche thing doesn't interest you, good. This video wasn't for you anyway. This is a well-kept promise that I refuse to break. And if whether you want to ride along or not is cool too, I guess. Moving along, this video at hand is about cartoon reviewer turned musician Chuck Beast Brains, formerly known as Cartoon Catastrophe. He pursued this music career shortly after he wasn't content with where his channel was going, making the new hobby take full gauge. Now his latest project in question, Songs from an Old Machine, Chuck has decided to compile an arrangement of pieces that all share one common theme, unlike his EP from early last year, The Infinite Loop, which was just four random songs. I wasn't quite sure what I was up against when I first picked up this album. I wasn't sure what kind of sound I was going to hear. I knew the genre he was driving towards on his last project, but who knew, like he probably wasn't going to do that this time. However, he did keep the alternative rock style that he's been doing with his previous projects. He also has been doing a couple of covers, and he's really been tuning his singing voice, so I couldn't wait regardless. So the project opens up quite hard hitting with whiny vocals coming from Chuck and the song displays split personalities of a friend in which he makes the chorus hit 10 times as harder of him reacting to such things. Hints on why the song is called Mask person is wearing a mask hiding their true person behind all these shenanigans. I personally love it. The feel of the instrumental of the song feels like some shit that'll play in the background of Fooly Cooly. It's very fast paced and it goes even crazier once the chorus hits. Not a bad start to an album. Four out of five stars. Now here's where the project makes a dip in pacing. After your blood is pumping and all your energy is going from the first track, you immediately start going on this slow train ride heading towards the song blue light red eyes this song has no right to be as beautiful as it is and i've damn near shed a tear the first time i heard it it is by far my like first favorite track, uh, the second was coming later, it's my first favorite track and everything about this song is perfect. The singing's on point, the emotion is there, the song is about comforting a friend and goddamn, like what a way, what a way to do it. Five stars, not even joking. After the beautiful roller coaster that is Blue Light Red Eyes, we head to this early 2000s inspired track, like at least that's how I feel about it. Well, it's one of those songs that just plays on a teenager's boombox as he sits in his room just thinking about his life or whatever, but it's really unmastered when it comes to the chorus part. It just sounds like he's recording this to a tape recorder at this point, which is probably the vibe he was going for. I just personally didn't like that myself. I will have to give this a good three stars. The song is about harm to oneself with the surprise of others, and I thought it did a really good representation of doing that. And this is where the quality of the album takes a dive for me, kinda, because the song Another You just really shakes me in a wrong way. Bye. The chorus is just fine, but the screaming vocals at the beginning was not the way to approach this track. Like, it, it doesn't fit at all. If I was to play this song in a car with friends, they'd probably immediately start laughing because they think it's a joke track. He came on a little too strong with this one. He should have executed like the song Birds of Bastards, where the screaming wasn't overpowering the song. <laughs> did was the opposite of that. And that's what went wrong. Um, other than that, the song is about not taking breakups very well. And you can really feel it with his vocals in this because he screams a lot 
and that just wasn't for me. Two stars. This next song, however, kind of saves the last song because of the display, the absolute showcase of Chuck Beast Brain singing. The angelic vocals really bring you at peace from what the last screaming song was doing. Try not to think about it, cause you're just scared. Now this piece is about acceptance of a relationship that didn't turn out and he's singing as if he was the responsibility of the relationship in the first place, like he was the carrier. This was quite the way to slow things down for the project and I'll have to give it 3 stars for it doing so. Now for the next song Square One, it comes off as forgettable for me. Um, it's not a song that I'll go out of my way to listen to. However, it does its job while talking about self-trial and error, and it feels like a live performance. So, it really has something there. It just wasn't something for me. I'm gonna have to give it, uh, two stars. I will let you down. Now the track after Square One is single-handedly the second best track on the project to me. I'm not even going to play a snippet, I'm not even going to talk about it as much as you want me to. I want you to go out and go listen to it yourself. If you're a major rock fan, you will like, you'll love this shit on Guitar Hero or something. Oh my god, dude, he's so crazy with the guitar. Like, me, me, me. Well, I don't even know, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. The song is about why the character is such a fuck up and oh my, it, five stars, five stars. Which brings us to the end of the album with the song Nightmares, which is the acknowledgement of one's wrongdoing. And it's basically a piano showcase. It feels like the ending of a, of a show, like a sitcom or something, which is very fitting because it actually ends with a crowd cheering and chanting. So that's probably what he was going for. This song is perfect in the context of it ending the album, but as far as a track that I would go back to, this certainly isn't one of them. Um, I will have to give it about two stars which ends my review of the album, Songs From An Old Machine. I would have to rate the project as a whole a light 7 out of 10. For his first actual full length project, he had a lot more misses than hits, but it did an excellent display for the theme of emotion. So Chuck, if you're watching, which I know you are, you're probably jacking your fucking penis too. I would have to say, give me more songs like Blue Light, Red Eyes, and the song War. And you, you got me hooked. You got me hooked. I don't give a fuck if you niggas didn't watch this video. I watched this video. Chuck watched this video. And, and that guy in the blue shirt watched this video. So, hey, I'm all good. You should be good too. Amen. Oh.